Take a moment for yourself. Get close with the lights. What is going on, people of YouTube? And welcome to five things I love about my car. I got this. Uh, I got this idea from a few other YouTubers. I've seen a few other YouTubers do it, but I thought I'd try it. And I'm going to nominate Joe Bateman to do this about his cars. Both of them. Ball and much. Okay, so number one, the styling. This thing looks absolutely great, in my opinion. I love the, uh, love the square headlights at the front. These are like one of my favourite parts. And the grill. It's if you follow it down, these swage lines are really nice. I like this this radius just here. It's a, it's a really nice, really nice touch to the car as it flows around. Comes back round up and then into a thinner swage line into this door shut. I like that. That's a, that's a nice way to nice way to blend out a door shut and make it look like part of the car. These rear lights are nice, I like them. They look kind of like a DeLorean's lights. Probably not, but you know. Number two. Now this kind of links into the number one, but this rubber boot spoiler. I think this looks absolutely great, in my opinion. It's got a few little nicks in it and everything, but it can all be sorted, probably. But yeah, I really like this. It's a bit marmite. I've seen some people remove it. Uh, it does look quite nice, but I like it because I think it gives it the 80s look. Although it serves no aerodynamic purposes, I just think it looks great. So we're going to head inside for number three. So, number three. I really like the interior of this car. It's, it's a bit dirty, like very dirty all around, and it's bit damaged in some places but none of that was me and it can all be fixed so I like the interior of this car because it's, it's simple there's there's no radio so often I had to replace that slot with what I want back because somebody stole my car radio and now I just sit in silence there's no crowded buttons or switches it's nice simple three dials for the heaters and everything and one one knob for it to adjust the, the strength of the heater. Yeah, we've got a cigarette tray here with parts in it. What? All right. A cigarette ashtray just there. Fuck knows. And that's where the radio will go. The radio is a nice, simple two knobs, a couple of sliders in the middle. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the gears, the gear knob as well. I've got the stock one on there at the minute. Uh, because I fancied a change to the uh, the one that Joe Bateman bought me. Yeah, I have done a few interior modifications, as you know. I've done the window winders and the steering wheel boss kit. And this this is a uh, Code Racing steering wheel. I bought it for fifty quid at Trax twenty fourteen, I think it was, and it has a nice carbon fibre horn button just here working horn and everything you had to, I had to wire it up myself though with the help of a friend I've also got these floor mats but they're, they're they don't fit they're from a uh, 2003 Beetle moving around to the back of the car moving around to the back of the car point number four the boot space now it's not a massively big boot but it's big enough I mean there's Tires, set of two tires for the car, a box full of bits, and the cover. A petrol can, and I usually store the new battery in here, the oil, and the oil filter in there as well. But it also has spare wheel space under here, uh, which also had a Volkswagen tool kit in it as well, but I took that out because that didn't fit. Yeah, it's quite spacious. You could, I've been in there before. It's, quite nice as boots go although I can never say that I've been kidnapped and put in a boot before but anyway I like the boot space I think it would be quite practical for road trips if this car will last long distances you 
yeah. I'd love to try and see how many suitcases I can fit in there in the future. I don't think it'll be much. Okay, point number five, exhaust note. I really like the exhaust note on this car. It's, uh, if you don't know, it's a double silence exhaust system. I think it's about one and a half inch uh, steel pipe. It's not stainless because it's all completely rusted up. I think it sounds pretty nice. So it does sound quite quite pippy and retro. And uh, once you once you start to put the boot down up towards the top end, it's like a really nice rasp. But if you don't know, I really like raspy exhausts, and uh, this this tickles my fancy. I like it. <laughs> yeah, in the future, I would like to get a uh, a Jetex full downpipe back exis uh, exhaust system. It's a uh, I think it's two and a half inch pipe with single silencer and twin oval tips it's about 320 pound i think it was but it makes the sound car sound really nice i'll put a clip in now A massive thank you to my friend Guy D912 for that if, uh, letting me use that clip. Thank you very much for watching this five things I love about my car video. I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. But next film, five things I hate about my car. I think that's going to be quite hard to quite hard to make because I don't actually hate my car. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's the best car to have the first car ever apart from the insurance thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers oh, shit. it's good